Are you wondering, how do I prepare my home for inspections? Stay tuned. Welcome to Step Into The Valley with Katrina Du at the Three Step Realty Group. In today's episode, we're talking to you home sellers on how to prepare your home for inspections. So why? Why would you need to prepare your home for inspections? Well, so whether you're doing pre-inspections before putting your home on the market or your buyers for your home are having inspectors come through, it's good to be prepared for them because you want to make sure you're putting your best foot forward and you're making your already fantastic home even better for those inspectors. All right, so let's go through four things that you can do to prepare your home. So item number one is look for leaks and water damage. What I mean by that is go around your home to all the water features. So look under the sinks, look at the water heater, look around the fridge, the dishwasher, and make sure you do not see any water leaks. Signs of those water leaks could be stains on the around the area as well. So if you look under your kitchen sink and you see some stains on the, on the bottom of the cabinet under the piping, that's a sign you could have a water leak. I would recommend getting those addressed and taken care of before inspectors come through. Now why? Well, because what could happen is if you have a buyer doing inspections, they could take a see the report and go, oh, there's a leak in the bathroom at the bathtub and that repair may only cost $100. But if the buyer doesn't have a quote from the inspector, the buyer in their head, they're gonna multiply that by sometimes four times and go, oh, that's a $400 repair. And they might ask for more than necessary from you, the seller. So number one was look for leaks and water damage. Number two, make sure that fuse box is properly labeled. Now, there's nothing more frustrating at times for new homeowners to understand what fuse operates and manages what area of the home. Home inspectors alike, because a home inspector does need to check and investigate the control panel and the fuses. And it's great if they're labeled so they know what part of the home that it controls if they have to investigate items further. It makes their job go easier and faster. So less time that they're in your home while they're inspecting as well. Item number three, check the roof. So check and make sure the gutters are clean. They're not impacted with tree leaves or dirt or mud for that matter. And clean them up if possible. Make sure there's no moss buildup or growth on the roof. And if there is, try to get it cleaned off. The reason why is because when your roofer comes out or the roof inspector comes out and takes a look at it, you're wanting to put the best foot forward and if they see the gutters are in bad condition or there's a lot of moss buildup, they may assume right off the bat that there's issues and when they go up to look on the roof. And then number four, make sure the inspectors can access all areas of the home. Now, yes, you may be a homeowner that has had to declutter your home and most likely you took all that stuff and put it in the garage and the garage is packed super full. Well, that's to be expected. Um, in that case, a home inspector may not be able to fully inspect the garage. If you did have to do that, at least clear a good solid walking path to your water heater or water softener area for the inspector to go walk around safely and look. And then of course, make sure the home is clean and organized so that way they can go ahead and have access to all of under your sinks and they can see all the outlets, all that good stuff. Now, if you're thinking about selling your home, give us a call at the number below. We'd be absolutely honored to walk you through this process in addition to how to get you top dollar for your home. In the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel because every Friday we have a new video out for you.